After what happened at the latest Apple event, I got the final confirmation I needed. This, probably, is not the iPhone 14. But to better explain what I mean, here's a recap. On September 8th, a week before Apple officially announced the iPhone 13, this guy here, John Prosser, claimed to know some stuff about the one after it, the iPhone 14. And by some stuff, I mean the whole design, that according to him, is going to be completely different, featuring an iPhone 4-esque aesthetic, a completely flat back without a camera bump, and a whole punch front-facing camera, without a notch. John Prosser is a very famous leaker with a mixed reputation. He already got many things right in the past, many dates for product releases or lifting of embargoes. He also correctly leaked the designs of the AirTags and the AirPods Max, for example, plus some random details about other stuff. He's obviously not just guessing, but at the last Apple event, when everyone was expecting a redesigned Apple Watch with full edges, this came out instead. The fun thing is that despite many people usually doubting him, the one time that virtually all major leakers were reporting the same exact thing, it was false. But that's not what I'll be talking about today, because at that same event, another thing was announced, the iPad Mini. He actually leaked it back in June. But something I immediately noticed is that the final product was, let's say, a bit different. The volume buttons were in a different position entirely. It has a flash which was not present in its renders. It has speakers on the top and the bottom, which is opposite to what his head. He also got the colors wrong. He mentioned a smaller Apple Pencil, which simply doesn't exist. The physical size is also slightly different. What even happened here? Listen, I've got nothing against him. He has proven that he knows what he is talking about most of the times. But for some reason, whenever it leaks a design, there's always something slightly different from the real deal. Do you want other examples? I say that he correctly leaked the designs for both the Airtex and the Airpods Max. Well, the renders he showed for the Airtex were almost perfect, but his design was a bit flatter than the real one for whatever reason. The Airpods Max also had the same problem, his renders, picture, design, which simply was less round than the final one. Also, the materials were wrong. He also showed some renders for what he claimed is the next Mac Mini, Yes, at the time of recording that is yet to be real, but the part layout on the back, there's no way it's going to make it like this in the final product. It simply makes no sense. The ports are so close to each other, you can't even use them at the same time. Why is that? Why do all the renders he shows always have some wrong details? I'm not sure, there could be a variety of different reasons. Regardless, returning on the main topic of the video, this iPhone 14 looks very nice but so many things about it just don't add up. According to him, to achieve this perfectly flat back without an extruding camera bump, this iPhone is going to get thicker. Have you ever tried to hold an iPhone 13 Pro Max? The thing is massive, and the flat sides that make all the other models easier to hold, in this case, only make it worse. I've heard so many people complaining about that size, which is not going to disappear anytime soon, right? Are you telling me they would want to make it even thicker and with sharper edges? It makes no sense. And this is Apple we are talking about. They are the company that always tries to make everything as thin as possible, even when it's not really needed. I mean, maybe with the next redesign, they are getting rid of the bump, but not this way. It would be so bad. Also, according to him, the volume buttons will be circular again. That would be horrible. They were so bad on all the iPhones. And it makes even less sense when you consider that basically every Apple device has been using the same shape for side buttons for a while. It's a completely pointless change. He said that the pros are getting a titanium chassis. That would actually be very nice because I hate that glossy stainless steel with a burning passion. The speaker grills look like this in his design. I get referencing the iPhone 4 but they honestly look worse. And don't quote me on this, but as far as I know, this type of speaker wheel is harder to make wood resistant. So there's that. Also, those glass panels look so incredibly exposed. Why do they need to extrude that much? It doesn't look aesthetically better, and I think they would be more prone to cracking. So, taking everything I said into account, here's a more reasonable version of this design. It basically has all the changes I proposed better buttons and speakers, less exposed glass panels, all that stuff. My concept is of what would be the base iPhone though, because I wanted to see how that would have looked with his design. And I just realized this after making the model and the renders. Among the various details of the leak, he also said that the back of the pros is reverting to being glossy. What? By doing this, both the standard iPhones and the pros would have matte sides and a glossy back, because I really thought they would want to bring the more premium matte glass to the base models, and they spent years establishing how matte glass is actually more premium. I honestly just don't see that happening. Anyway, I found some strange details, 
but I specifically say that this is not the iPhone 14, right? And no, I don't mean that, because of those tiny changes it's basically a different phone. There's one more detail in the original story, which to me makes even less sense than everything else I've already complained about. According to Processor, this iPhone is coming out next year. But why would it? If there's something very clear about Tim Cook's Apple, it's that he loves recycling designs. As I already said many times, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing, but it's a fact. iPhones used to completely change design every two years. But because of declining interest in smartphones from the general population, leading to them upgrading on average every three years instead of two, iPhones also started getting redesigns every three years. Why would they suddenly revert back? Why would they discard the 12's design so early? Also, they just shrunk the notch for the first time ever. What's the point if they are just getting rid of it in a year? The actual iPhone 14 is realistically just going to look like the 13, with some other minor upgrades or features, but that's about it. This design here, if it's even real at all, of course, maybe we'll see it for the iPhone 15, but I have to admit, it's not impossible that some of the very bad details I found in this leak design could actually end up in the final product, like some other bad ideas which ended up in the iPhone 13. In fact, I made an entire video showcasing all the ones I could find, even some I haven't really heard anyone else discussing. Check this video out if you want. Ciao!